Well, hello, good people and Eagle fans. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. I'm having a really good one, my damn self. I'm enjoying being actually here um, and not having to be running around. I've been doing a bunch of different jobs and things like that, trying to get ready to be able to take some time off to be at training camp and i just can't wait uh to see all the good people out there i hope to see my buddy law nation nothing but the best and monica from football is sexy she was at training camp you know dissing our cowboy fans talking to her she might show back up at cowboys camp so i can you know tsh, tsh, uh, wait a minute, actually I, I can't say bitch slap that would not be no okay uh let me let me take that away okay we'll just smile and say 49ers you know the bang bang and actually you can't say bang bang to to a lady either can you okay regardless we'll just say that the 49ers suck or should we say hawk to a <laughs> okay no I, I i've got to be politically correct I will say to Monica, I don't like your team. Your team is too mean to my Cowboys. How about that? And be politically correct, okay? Be that as it may, we have a couple of things that are uh, interesting or um, I don't know what, what you want to call it, if it's interesting or not. But I didn't realize that today, today was Skip Bayless's last show on Undisputed. How do I say goodbye to what we had? And what did we have with Skip Bayless? Skip Bayless was Dak Prescott hater number one. Hater number one. And it's funny because Skip Bayless was always taking everybody over Dak Prescott. He was throwing Dak Prescott's jersey in the trash there and just saying, you know, that guy, he shouldn't get paid. And, uh, you know, he's a bum. Get rid of him. He'd take Cooper Rush over Dak Prescott. Well, guess what? Seems like Dak Prescott's outlived you, bro. Seems like he has. And today in his final show, I, I was listening to uh, Keyshawn and, and Dak, I mean, excuse me, Keyshawn and, and him and everything else about whether or not the Cowboys would go ahead and pay Dak Prescott, um, you know, record-breaking money. Because technically, record-breaking money would be basically $55.5 million would be record-breaking Dak Prescott seems to be on his game seems to be fit as can be seems to be laser focused and seemingly not worried about a damn thing other than the 18 game excuse me 17 games that they have to play going into the season uh, 40 and slip because the NFL will be going to 18 games and mind you the NFL salary cap will continue to rise through the moon because the NFL having the judge overturn the um, direct TV thing just has given them carte blanche to go ahead and do what they want to do which is expend and make more money because here's the thing i don't know if you guys realize this or not you know everybody's excited oh my god we're gonna have football on friday we'll have football on friday if you have paramount tv yes paramount tv you're gonna need to have that i'm betting that there are tv stations out there that are creating apps just so that way they can try and get onto the nfl train so if you're trying to keep keep track, okay, <laughs> if you're trying to keep track here, and I'm, I have a hard time keeping up because I have Sunday ticket, so that way I can get to Sunday games because there's usually about three, maybe four Cowboy games that aren't nationally televised, and I want to make sure I have those, and I don't want to go to a bar. I like having it here, so I've got uh, Sunday ticket for that. Okay, that's the first thing. Now, we're going to need Paramount TV, of course, because Sunday Ticket doesn't cover those games that aren't on Sunday. So that means you need Paramount TV. If you want to see Thursday Night Football, of course, you're going to need Amazon Prime there. So we got that. And who am I missing? Let's see. Amazon, YouTube, Paramount. Um, somebody else is out there. Oh, ESPN. And ESPN 
which is kind of losing a lot of stuff. They're kind of now bet ESPN because they're now a gambling site as well as supposedly the worldwide leader in sports, which seems to be not necessarily leading in sports anymore, that they are probably going to, well, they actually do have an app right now too. So you're going to need an app probably for that one as well. And don't be surprised if CBS ends up doing like Paramount and creates their own app too, that you'll have to go. Yes, you will, because that's what NBC is. And don't be surprised if Fox does one, too, because we're eventually going to get to the NFL being paid per view. Yeah, so be that as it may, money will continue to flow through the NFL. And maybe now that this case is settled, at least for the moment, and the NFL does not have to put in $14.1 billion to appeal the case, that you'll start to see the Cowboys actually start to make some moves. But be that as it may, Skip Bayless made a point of saying that Dak Prescott basically is a garbage quarterback and they need to move on because he just ain't it. He ain't got it and so on. I would play a clip of that, but I, I tried that, but it ended up getting copywritten. Okay. Now, next thing I want to deal with is Jason M., another one of those bang, bang. 49er fans that literally can't get enough of Joe Boo Sports Report. He literally watches and critiques every one of the shows. Actually, I ought to thank you, bro, because you, by yourself, are getting me paid. You are getting me paid here. You probably, just this week, earned me enough money to buy this, to take, look at this, to take to training camp. It's lightweight, okay? It's portable. I can use it like a selfie stick and go, ah, okay? So that way I can hold it so it's not, because, you know, a lot of times I, I, I it's like in my chest, okay? I'm very proud of my chest, you know. I still have a little muscle there. But I can hold it out here so that way you can actually see my face and see the people around me instead of my big chest. Or I can use it like a tripod. So, Jason M., I appreciate you watching every single show and literally buying this for me. Okay, but Jason M was talking about me talking about Jake Ferguson, that Jake Ferguson was not on the uh, ratings of the top 10 and tight ends. And I said, lo and behold, you know, he had over 200 yards more than Dallas Goddard, who was number eight. He had two more touchdowns than Dallas Goddard stayed healthier in the season. And I was kind of having, you know, a little uh, hissy fit about that. And he literally, let me see if I can find, let me get the email because this is, this is, this is kind of stuff I have to put up with as a YouTuber. Come on, Mark, you are a effing toddler with the way you look at tight uh, at players value tight end job is blocking along with production. And that P tight end Ferguson can't block a swinging D He's an average pass catcher and bottom five blocker. You don't even watch the rest of the league. Also, stop with the chip on your shoulder routine. These guys are paid professionals. They don't need motivation from made up lists that only you give a shit about. Niners for life. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that above there and on that list was Dalton Schultz. Dalton Schultz can't block at all, bro. Can't, can't block, bro. Can't block. Can't block worth, as you say, dick, okay? Now, here's an interesting one for Dan, you're lousy. Dan, you're lousy, okay? So, you know, Dan Orlowski wouldn't put Dak Prescott in the top five quarterbacks in the NFC. Not, not, even, top, not, even, the top, not even the top five in the NFC, okay? So, I'm sitting here like, okay, not even in the top five? So... Here's where Madden's quarterback ranking came out. Okay, here's here's Madden's. Okay, I'll take Madden, I guess, over Dan. You're lousy because Dan just seems to have something against Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott, who was runner-up MVP last year, Kirk Cousins, who ruptured his Achilles. He had Kirk Cousins on the list of the top five, but not Dak Prescott. And he literally said, somebody from the NFC South, anybody. So that Derek Carr. Derek, you think Derek Carr? Derek Carr? Kirk Cousins? Somebody from the... What, what, seriously? I don't even can't remember who Carolina has. Baker Mayfield? Come on, man. Here is Madden's 25s list. Pat, This is all quarterbacks. Not just NFC. All quarterbacks. Pat Mahomes. 99 rating. Okay. 
that, you expect that. You know, he, he he's the head, head man in charge. Lamar Jackson at 98. Okay, I can deal with that. Joe Burrow at a 93, if he can stay healthy. It's, health is the question with him. Josh Allen at a 92. So if you're keeping track, Pat Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, that's the top four. Those are AFC guys. We have yet to get an NFC guy yet. The next one on the list at number five is actually rated at a 90. Dak Prescott by Madden. And I believe that is the first NFC quarterback out there. Then they have Tua at an 88. Justin Herbert at an 87 who has a plantar fasciitis and is in a cast for the next two weeks. And then at 86, Jalen Hurts, the second NFC quarterback. Then he's got Brock Purdy at number nine, the third. And then Kurt Frickin Cousins at an 84. And then Aaron Frickin Rodgers at an 83. Hmm. I guess the haters are going to hate. Okay. And that's where we stand with it. And let me finish off with Skip Bayless. Um, Skip Bayless, whether you liked him or hated him, here's the reality of media and entertainment. First thing is to entertain. Second thing is to get people watching you entertaining them. Like YouTube, YouTube does not care if somebody loves you or hates you. The only thing YouTube cares about is that they're watching you. And so you have to look at Skip Bayless' career, which, you know, whether you believe that he was truthful or not, the fact that he hated Dak Prescott and would throw his jersey in the trash and things, that maybe he made things up like um, Troy Aikman is gay rumor that he made up and then put it in his book to saying that the Dallas Cowboys consulted with him about the Herschel Walker trade. The thing that was always funny to me was in every game that I've always went to the Dallas Cowboys or training camp and stuff, I never see Skip Bayless there. I never see him there interviewing Jerry Jones or Stephen Jones or any of the players. For a guy who claims to be a Dallas Cowboy fan, I don't know of a single game that he's been to in the last 10 years. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I missed him. But Skip Bayless' career, I'm sure he made a lot of money, made a lot of enemies, but it was successful from that standpoint. And I'm not trying to celebrate anybody losing their job because I hate to see people lose their job, regardless of how I feel about them. But... You know, it is what it is. And uh, on to the next thing, Skip Bayless, which will be interesting to see what that will be. I'm Mark Holmes, and I will see you guys soon. Y'all going to get sick of me. You going to get sick of me. Trust and believe that because from here on out, I got my work and stuff done. Um, I am going to be focused in on football, hot and heavy, hot and heavy here on out. And as always, I appreciate you. Disrespected yet? Does this defense have any heart? Let's no. Go. They suck. Versus I've been telling you all season, they Philly. They've shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Jayla Carter? It's like, they shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't, Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Jayla Carter? It's like, they shit on you.